Hello and welcome to Louis Times. I am Kangana Sharma and now let's have a look at today's top 10 news that created headlines. The Union Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs has revealed that out of 20 worst performing cities under the Smart City Mission, 10 cities are from the Northeast and that also includes Guwahati. The Government of India launched a Smart Cities Mission on 25th of June 2015 with the main objective of promoting cities that provide core infrastructure clean and sustainable environment and give a decent quality of life to their citizens through the application of smart solutions. As agitating entered its fourth day on Friday with protesting farmers facing tear gas at the Punjab-Haryana shampoo border as security forces tried to disperse them. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind K. Jival on Saturday appeared through video conferencing before the Delhi Rouse Avenue Court seeking exemption from physical appearance for the day as the budget session is going on and a confidence motion called by him in the Delhi Assembly. At least eight people were injured after a stage fell near the entrance of Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium in Delhi on Friday. The structure had been put up for a wedding. Kerala High Court on Friday urged former State Finance Minister Dr. Thomas Isaac and officials of the Kerala Infrastructure Investment Fund Board would be willing to attend the fresh summons issued by the Enforcement Directorate in the Masala Bonds case if the court were to keep a watch over the matter. The RBI on Friday advised customers as well as merchants of the Paytm Payments Bank Limited to shift their accounts to other banks by 15th of March, giving 15 more days to the beleaguered entity to close most of its operations, including deposit and credit transactions. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky on Friday signed a 10-year bilateral security agreement with France hours after he officialized a similar one with Germany. The agreement sent a strong signal of long-term backing as Kyiv works to shore up Western support nearly two years after Russia launched its full-scale war. Japan successfully launched its new H-3 flagship rocket on Saturday, putting its satellite program back on track after multiple setbacks, including the failure of the rocket's inaugural flight last year. The launch also marks a second straight win for the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency after its moon's lander, SLIM, achieved a pinpoint touchdown last month. Following unsuccessful attempts to form the government, Pakistan's Tehreek-e Insaf, led by jailed former Prime Minister Imran Khan, has opted to sit in the opposition in parliament while launching nationwide protests against alleged electoral irregularities. Ravichandran Ashwin on Friday became the second Indian bowler after Anil Kumble to take 500 test wickets during the third test against England. Ashwin also became the only third off spinner to achieve the feat and continues to be the second highest wicket taker for India behind Kumble, who ended his career with 619 scalps.